Welcome back to Wrestling World. Today we'll be taking a look at the explanation for what's going on with Dominic and Aaliyah Mysterio, as well as what's happening with Sasha Banks and Roman Reigns as well. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe if you're new and drop a like below. The Mysterio family partially made their return to WWE this week when Rey Mysterio took part in the number one contenders gauntlet match for an opportunity to face Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. Rey Mysterio made his first appearance in well over a month. Also by his side was Dominic Mysterio, who hasn't been seen in just around the same amount of time as Rey Mysterio. But Aaliyah Mysterio and Murphy still remain missing with no explanation given to us by WWE. Before the Mysterio family's disappearance in mid-December, the whole family used to be at ringside for each other's matches, so having Murphy and Aaliyah still missing is a bit strange. We'll see if something happens there. But as far as Dominic Mysterio, it does seem like we have a big update on his status and where he stands right now. Reports claim that Dominic Mysterio will be moving to Orlando soon to take his career even more seriously and be closer to all the training facilities in Orlando. Dominic will be saying goodbye to his old home temporarily just while he makes his move to Orlando to train. It's the best move for Dominic. As we already know, all of WWE's operations right now is coming out of Orlando, Florida. Plus, with pandemic situations not getting any better, it looks like the state of Florida could remain as WWE's home state for the majority of the year. It truly appears that WWE will be staying put in Florida for the foreseeable future. So Dominic making his move to Orlando will be worth it and will pay off. All of the WWE superstars right there in the same city as he is, and he'll be able to get even more hands-on experience. As far as Dominic's in-ring future goes, no one knows what WWE has in store with him. With the Seth Rollins storyline now being completed, it looks like Dominic has reverted back to the role of just accompanying his father, Rey Mysterio, to the ring. So, it does seem like there's no immediate plans for Dominic Mysterio to get back into the ring right now. However, WWE released their own list of WWE superstars that they themselves expect to see as champions in 2021, and Dominic Mysterio was on that list. So, the fact that WWE is putting that out there themselves definitely deserves some acknowledgement. Could WWE be teasing a title reign for Dominic Mysterio sometime in 2021? WWE also noted that Dominic Mysterio does have the opportunity to put himself in the WWE history books as the youngest WWE champion ever. Dominic Mysterio is currently 23 years old. Randy Orton holds the record for being the youngest WWE champion at 24 years old. Dominic turns 24 in April. So, if he wants that record, that means he has to secure a world title before April. Which may seem a bit unrealistic considering that he's not even wrestling right now and won't stand a chance against Roman Reigns. But if he wins a world title at any point this year, it would still be a massive accomplishment for a young superstar like himself. Speaking of the Mysterio family and the other half that's missing, that brings us to Aaliyah Mysterio and Murphy. Aaliyah and Murphy were paired up as a couple on WWE television, but there's one problem. Murphy is signed to a full-time deal, and Aaliyah is reportedly on a limited part-time deal. Aaliyah isn't going to be there every week, so how will WWE handle her absence, considering she's part of an on-screen relationship? They still haven't answered that question. Maybe they'll continue to see them off of television, or maybe they will have Aaliyah come back eventually for some sort of breakup angle to write her off. Reports have also been claiming for months that WWE would love to sign Aaliyah full-time, but it's being reported that Aaliyah will be focusing on her classes before making the decision to fully join WWE. So this is basically like a test run for Aaliyah. If she loves it, if this is her passion as well, then we can definitely expect to see her as a full-time WWE superstar in the coming years. But at least Rey Mysterio and Dominic are back on television. We'll have to see what WWE has in store for them. Will they be back to being a weekly part of SmackDown? Or will they disappear once again? We'll have to see. Another big topic coming out of SmackDown was the absence of WWE SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks. Not being a part of SmackDown is normal for some superstars, but having the SmackDown Women's Champion 
miss the show is something that's a bit eye-opening. Sasha Banks was completely missing from SmackDown this week. No promo, no backstage interview, nothing at all from Sasha Banks. The only mention of Sasha Banks on SmackDown was a quick graphic that showed that she was ranked the number one wrestler in 2020 by Sports Illustrated. That graphic was followed up by a quick backstage promo by Carmella bragging about how she pinned Sasha Banks and how Sasha Banks would have never been the number one wrestler if Carmella never took a vacation. So technically, yes, that was a continuation to the Sasha Banks and Carmella storyline. It does feel like their feud will be continuing after Carmella pinned Sasha Banks a few weeks ago on SmackDown. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but you can assume that Sasha Banks and Carmella will meet again at the Royal Rumble. So even though we did get some continuation to their story, Sasha's complete absence was still a bit strange. Reports claim that Sasha Banks was backstage at SmackDown. She was perfectly fine and medically cleared. So that only left everyone to assume that it must have been a creative issue. They had nothing for her to do this week, not to mention that the gauntlet match did eat up nearly half of SmackDown's airtime. So that likely played a role in her absence as well. WWE just didn't have the same amount of airtime on SmackDown this week since the gauntlet match demanded nearly 40 minutes of the show. So it's more likely that Sasha Banks will be back on SmackDown next week. For the first time since his return, Roman Reigns' story left fans scratching their heads and being a bit confused. Royal Rumble is one of WWE's biggest shows of the year, so everyone was expecting a big Royal Rumble opportunity for Roman Reigns. Maybe Daniel Bryan or a rematch with Kevin Owens. But the number one contender we got was WWE official Adam Pearce. I like this story because it shows Roman's power. He's able to go above WWE officials and truly make whatever he wants happen. And like he told Adam Pearce, it's his show. So I like that part of the story because it shows that Roman Reigns truly has power and has more pull than a WWE official. But what is questionable is obviously a Royal Rumble match with Adam Pearce. I would have no problem with Roman Reigns versus Adam Pearce taking place on a random episode of SmackDown. That would be interesting, but wasting a world title match at Royal Rumble with Adam Pearce is a bit questionable. Reports claim that it could be a bait and it could be misleading. Maybe Kevin Owens returns from the hospital and is able to find a way to take Adam Pierce's spot at the Royal Rumble, setting up a big final showdown for the feud of Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. I really like that idea and I could see that happening. I just can't see this match actually taking place at the Royal Rumble. You really do have to wonder if this is still part of Kevin Owens' storyline with Roman Reigns. We still have three episodes of SmackDown left before the Royal Rumble, so there's definitely time for WWE to spin things around again to make the Royal Rumble match be Kevin Owens vs. Roman Reigns. Daniel Bryan is also the current odds-on favorite to win the Royal Rumble, so that could set up Roman's WrestleMania feud. But as far as the Royal Rumble goes, we'll have to see if WWE is really going to have Roman Reigns vs. Adam Pearce title match at one of the biggest shows of the year. What are your thoughts on today's stories about the Mysterio family, Sasha Banks, and Roman Reigns? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.